one of the things you mentioned is core skills. So mm -hmm. that's something that it, it, I think it's common to act in activity, uh, act in academies, mm -hmm. right? So, mm -hmm. so what, what does that consist of? That's the English language arts and math. Mm -hmm. They can use, they have so much time that they'll use their online tool uh, to show and to learn at their own independent pace. And then they have offline time where they'll engage and they'll play games, they'll make a game, they'll do writing or reading together. Often it's drawing and writing a story about their drawings. So we'll have a little group that will get together over there. I had somebody come in and this will give you an example, or I guess maybe a picture in your head. I had somebody come in that for a tour that had heard me talk about this for a year and mm -hmm. never seen it in person. They came in and... They're like, and they, they're from the tech industry. They've done some tech startups throughout their tenure in the professional world. And they said, you know, I walk around this, this is like a mini tech startup. Mm -hmm. And I said, explain, you know, I'm, I'm curious how you found that answer. And, and, and he said that it was because like over here in this area, you've got research and development. And then over here, you've got this group obviously working where they want quiet because they're behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. And then over here, you've got this group that's all got their headphones on and they're all working independently at this table. And then over here, you've got this group that's just flying a drone over the half walls and seeing if anybody notices. So you've got <laughs> all these different pockets. You've got like a design lab where people are being hands on and they're 3D printing something. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I did we never plan the day like this i never know how it's going to go on a tour sometimes mm. but i took a step back and i kind of looked around i was like i've never seen it through those eyes before mm. that we really are like this innovative design think tank that just happens to have children in the building instead of adults mm -hmm. and so watching all of those things you know we've got to We've got this group over here with the, making this cardboard army. They're all making like cardboard um, swords and weaponry to arm themselves with so that they could go into battle for this reenactment of some part of a book. Right, and then right. somebody it's just it's a it's a this it's a really cool space. And when you envision or kind of think about what that looks like, that would be the picture I would put in somebody's head. Mm -hmm. Cool. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host. Don Burr.